welcome back. Uh, this is going to be the beginning of the Berger 80 and a half grain full bore and H4895 load. I was lucky enough to be traveling through South Dakota and a small town hardware store had like four kinds of powder and this this was one of them. So I was pretty excited. I grabbed two bottles of that. Um, I also ordered some more of those 80 grain ELDMs. I feel like there's a a lot to be explored there with those. Uh, but today I want to try these full bores. Um, my brother-in-law told me to shorten up my videos, so I'm going to try to keep this one fairly brief. I'm just going to start out with a load of 23 and a half grains, go all the way up to uh, 25.1. I'm just going to do six loads, so it'll be 23 and a half, 24.2, 24.5, 24.8, and 25.1. Uh, not much to be said there, it's still virgin brass, I'm still using the CCI uh, 400s. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be a little bit cautious when I'm getting up that 24.8, 25.1. Um, I'll bring my chronograph out the first time this go around, uh, even though it doesn't give uh, great data, it'll, it'll give us something to work off. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and start throwing powder. Okay, I've got these uh, charged up and uh, ready to go. I've done the same thing here. I've uh, removed the firing pin out of the bolt, and I'm going to use this to um, check for seating depth with the primary extraction, feeling for when that um, that uh, bolt handle hits the uh, ramp to disengage the uh, bullet from the lands. Um, so I'll use that, and I'll find out where I'm at and then go 20 thousandths off and all right this is the test for powder charge on the burger 80 and a half grain full bores which with H4895 um, the only note I'd like to make I loaded these the same day as I loaded those 80s for the seating depth test and I was obviously in a rush um, I kind of messed up this uh, one of them uh, was seated in extra far, slid it onto the shell holder, and it was sitting on top of the shell holder in its bevel rather than into the actual um, channel. So one of these is seated uh, uh, pretty short, uh, at least short for the test. Um, they're all seated at 20 thousandths off. I will shoot this one that is messed up the first of that group. Uh, other than that, it should be a pretty good test. stupidity uh obviously my uh last load was shooting low with the 80 eldm so i came up a mill and i was pretty high so i decided to change things up and i yeah i got two groups on top of each other i i was not thinking i accidentally dialed the wrong direction with this one and then i overcompensated again and i stacked two groups on top of each other so i have no idea what that looks like maybe the video will show it a little bit better but uh, either way, I'm still kind of in the 28, 30 area with that, so it's nothing really that impressive. I'm hoping these next loads will shoot a little bit better, but man, that's what I didn't want to see that. I really didn't. These things are $30 for a hundred of them, so that just makes it just as expensive as shooting a full-size rifle, other than the powder. But but man, that's that's exciting. Um, so we'll uh, we'll keep going with the test. Just got back to the house, I ran the numbers, and uh, it's kind of interesting actually. Uh, so as far as the groups go, um, this one up here is measuring at 
0.23 inches. Um, this one down here is measuring at 0.56 inches, and this uh, 25.1 is at 0.64. Now that 0.64 is uh, accounting for this one down here. I mean, it's kind of baked into the cake, but uh, the uh, the actual main group here actually measures right at that quarter inch as well. Um, as far as velocities go, there's a few discrepancies. The last three groups here, so this one, this one, this one, from the 24.5 to the 25.1, uh, it's a little bit iffy. The lighting on the chronograph start to shift. The sun was moving and the shadows were kind of messing up how I could see it. So I did my best. So there's a, there's a few spots where I don't know if it's a one or a seven at the end. Um, this 24.5, I could almost just not read the last number at all throughout the whole string. Um, but the rest of these, there's one or two that I just can't tell if it's a one or a seven. Uh, that being said, um, I'm really, I'm impressed with this 24.8. Uh, the group itself, I'm sure I can shrink up with uh, seating depth. So I think that's where we're going to head next. Um, but you're gonna have to stay tuned for that. Uh, try to get that video out, uh, soon. All right. Thanks for watching guys.